Hello folks, Mink back here in Mega Man 2 for what will probably be the final part. Held right there at the drop to avoid these uh, acid drips here in the tunnel because you're too far ahead of them for them to actually hit you. It's just something I learned about back in the day that, you know, kind of have to use after learning about it really. But here we get the alien who is only weak to the bubble head. Hence why it is probably the most important weapon. Kind of a predictable infinity pattern he does around the room. Yeah, I say that now. Just take your shots when you can. I am not doing a very good job here. I mean, wow. Really, this boss isn't that hard. But yeah, every other weapon in the game will heal him. What? Cheap bastard. because this boss isn't that hard. But hey, if I wasn't playing poorly, it wouldn't be me, right? One more shot. And there you go, the alien is down. Annoying sounds are abound. And it takes forever to explode. Oh, come on, explode. Thank you. There we have the begging for mercy. Always something good to see in a Mega Man game. Although why we constantly accept it, who knows. And of course we have another somber trek across the, uh, countryside or around the world or however you want your view of it to go. But yeah, you'll notice I did not get an achievement there for beating the game. It's because this is a re-recording. The first time I tried recording it was uh, interrupted right after I killed the boss, which was pretty annoying, but Either way, here we are again. Well, here I am again. But yeah, that's Mega Man 2. It's not a bad game. And honestly, after replaying it for the first time in probably over five years, it's better than I give it credit for. I still stand that it's overrated the way that the fans have it overshadow everything else by such a wide margin. I don't know, that still... That still annoys me. Because it's a good game. If it's your favorite one, that's fine. Everybody will have different opinions about that kind of thing, you know? But... Just to jump on the bandwagon and discredit everything else. I don't know. But yeah. The weapons aren't bad for what they are. Metal blade may be a little broken, but so is the quick boomerang and it's the weapon I use, so I guess I couldn't really complain that much, even though I do. Leaf shield questionably useful, but at least it has areas that are kind of designed for it, so... Crash Bomb and Bubble Ed being forced upon you. Honestly, that's the annoying part of this game that I don't like. 
especially like I said before, if they gave more, uh, if they gave better farming opportunities for weapon energy for when you mess up fighting those respective bosses, I wouldn't mind it so much, but since it's essentially you screw up, you might as well restart because that's it. Especially the bubble lead. The bubble lead has it really bad at the end there. I mean, if you die to the alien, like, maybe twice, you're screwed. Might as well start over at that point. It's terrible. Uh, the robot masters themselves, pretty good designs. Like I said, Quick Man is my favorite one. I also like Air Man. Notice a theme with me, I tend to like the robots who look like robots instead of people, which is why it's weird that I like Quick Man as my favorite one in the entire series. I don't understand it, because really, when you look at my next favorites, which would be like Drill Man, uh, Napalm Man I think is pretty cool, even Dust Man, they're not human looking like at all. Fireman's on that list too. He doesn't even have any hands. Well, neither does Napalm Man or Drill Man. But yeah. The stages are a little short. The, the original eight Robot Master stages, anyway. They're a little short. Uh, and they're actually kind of simple. It's not until you get to the fortress where the difficulty kind of really ramps up, which took me by surprise after not playing this game for that long. Because I don't do practice runs. I don't run through a game and try to get good at it before I record it. I mean, what you're seeing is what you get with me, you know. I just load up the game to play it, have fun, and there you go. That's That's what it is. But... Yeah, that caught me off guard a little bit, especially, uh, which one was it? Stage 2? I think it was Stage 2. The one with the evil room. Uh, yeah, that one caught me off guard a little. I'm also still a little embarrassed by my performance against the Guts Tank, or the Guts Dozer, whatever you want to call it. Because that thing is a legit joke, and I... Ugh. The Wily Machine is a little annoying. The first phase is fine. It's the second phase because those bouncing energy balls that the thing shoots are impossible to dodge. You can't do it. You just can't. It's impossible. I don't know what's up with the hitboxes. But they are so messed up in this game. I mean, I would be fine if you could have a chance at dodging them. I'm not saying I would be able to because you've seen me play. I'm not the best, nor do I claim to be. But when you don't even have a chance, I don't know. But yeah, it's not a bad game. I like what it did building on what the first game did. I like what it led to. 3 and 4, like I said, are probably tied for my favorite in the series. So I have to credit this game for at least starting that. But, uh, anyway, that's it folks. So I hope you enjoyed my play of Mega Man 2. I will see you again with the next project, which might be another Mega Man game. I don't know, honestly. I just kind of go with the flow. I go with what I feel like doing at the time. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the run. I enjoyed playing it, even though I was a little bit annoyed and uh, probably a little bit condescending in especially the Wily stages. I apologize for that. But those are the feelings of the moment with the live recording, so that's what you get. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. This is Mink saying, 
Until next time, goodbye.